Every night here on Fox 9 News at 9, we take a closer look at the weather. And boy, what amazing pictures out of Texas today with all those tornadoes. But why was it happening? Let's check in with Scott for an explanation. All right, Roller, we'll start with uh, what has been happening. And we'll talk about how tornadoes form and when the peak season is supposed to be. Here's our low pressure system. This is Texas. And you've got energy, a jet, strong jet stream digging on through. That cold front we had come through Saturday, pushing energy into the Rockies. Storm system forms, snow over Denver. The energy pushes to the east and runs into that heat and humidity coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, and that's the prime ingredient. So that strong jet stream down deep south causing those storms to form. They're going to push a little bit further to the east as we head to the day tomorrow. There's that dip in the jet stream. When the jet stream is moving to the north, it diverges, causing the air to rise. And we'll talk more about that. And this is where you get all of your storms if there's enough humidity. Tomorrow, it is likely to be more severe thunderstorms as opposed to tornadoes because you don't have what we need, mid-level dry air coming in. That makes the atmosphere very what we call unstable stable, more conducive to tornadoes. So more heavy thunderstorms likely Thursday and Friday further east towards Florida. So the probability of a tornado during the month of March is highest. You guessed it right here, northeast Texas and Oklahoma. So yeah, the probability is quite high. And this is certainly right where we had it during the day today. And you see it all in the southeast as summer is trying to move to the north while winter is hanging on to the uh, from north to south. And that battle zone is where we have all those tornadoes. So the peak months of tornado occurrence, we talk about about April and May in Tornado Alley right in here. April and May, but for us, we get tornadoes in Idaho. It's more of a June, July type of thing, although we can have them in February as well. So with tornadoes, you can get the air rotating along the ground and strong updrafts will take that column and turn it more vertical. You can get tornadoes forming when you saw those tractor trailer trucks being shot up into the air. Winds are rushing up up to 100 miles an hour up into the storm system, so it can be quite nasty when it happens. And so the EF scale, zero to five, you might have had twos and threes today with some pretty significant damage and you got to get all the way to the EF5 before you get the real strong damage. You can see behind this logo it says 1%. Only 1% of all tornadoes are in the extreme category. The rest are a little bit weaker. We'll take a look at uh, some more tornadoes coming up in the future weeks here. Roland, this was a big uh, setup here, but the best news is that no fatalities or injuries reported. Yeah, I heard uh, reports of baseball-sized hail. Oh, absolutely. Oh. They call it Texas-sized hail, even yeah. <laughs> bigger than baseball today. Wow. All right, Scott, thanks very much. You bet. Well, its developers are calling it the cab of the future. And